I, I'm just trying to find a thick Fortnite girlfriend. You know, what's wrong with that? But anyways, let's talk about Black Ops 4 because honestly, I think a lot needs to be said about this game right now. First of all, I, I'd mainly like to say the game hasn't come out yet, so so calm your tits. Because when people bring up the situation about Black Ops 4, there's mainly uh, two different sides people come off as. The first side being, oh, this game's going to be absolute trash. It's going to be terrible. Nobody's going to like it. And the other one's going to be, oh my god, this is going to be the most amazing amazing game ever it's gonna do so well it's gonna be so fun and you know both of these uh, coming in with both of these mindsets are both wrong and and you may be like but gage you can't say my opinions wrong and I, I think you're wrong well your opinion is wrong so shut up uh, hear me out <laughs> now the first mindset being is the game's gonna be absolute trash the reason why this coming in with this mindset is really bad because Putting yourself in a constant state of negativity is will what will happen is when the game does actually come out, you're not really gonna enjoy it as much as you would is if you know you kind of took a more positive uh, uh, stance about it, okay? And just coming in, you're just gonna not like the game because you were so negative about it the whole time, thinking like, oh, this game's gonna be trash. And overall, when you say something enough, you start to believe it. And when the game actually comes out, you're gonna be like wow this game <laughs> this game's trash all right and then the other stance is the game's going to be amazing uh, this is also wrong too because uh, what this will do is we honestly we've been let down so many times not by Treyarch Treyarch hasn't let us down once and like Treyarch makes the best Call of Duty zombies like we all have to admit but I, I feel like people overhyped World War 2 to such an extent it's because like the community was dead at never thing and you're like look where we're at now like I I got bored playing Shadow Throne within the first 20 minutes like we don't want to overhype the game that's why being too optimistic about it too can really let us down because we're gonna turn out not enjoying the game when it actually does come out because we're like oh wow this doesn't didn't fit our expectations of amazingness even though the game might be great but if it doesn't fit our expectations, we're obviously going to be disappointed about it. This is why it's important to come into this game with a certain amount of skepticism. Now, it's okay to be excited about it because, you know, what? I'm excited for Black Ops 4 too. Just don't over get excited and have start to have expectations because immediately when you start to have expectations about something, that's when the other side will fall short and then you're going to fall short on actually enjoying the game. Game. So really you should just come in with skepticism be excited about it You know everybody should be excited about black ops 4 and all these leaks are really stupid I I think I honestly don't know um, They are leaks though by Uncredible sources, so I don't really think you y'all should uh, really really listen to them um, But yeah uh, I'm sorry that the uh, video had a more serious tone uh, than usual. Uh, it's just like I really wanted to make this video because I honestly think it's important and like people are going to end up ruining Black Ops for themselves and you know, uh, click off right now if you don't like disgusting stuff, but let's get into a real good story. So, you know, last night me taking my 3 a.m. dump got out of bed, you know, um, it, it was a big one. It was easily bigger than the state of New York, uh, which is my uh, my city. New York is my city. <laughs> Wait, that actually makes sense. Never mind. But anyways, I took a massive dump, right? And realized there was no toilet paper. And this kind of hurt my soul. And it was 3 a.m. I tried calling my mom, but her phone was off because I could tell because it immediately hung up when I called her, okay? And I was so sad. And I sat there for an hour doing nothing, not knowing what to do. And then, uh, you know, your boy finds toilet paper. <laughs> For wrapping on the floor like the wrap that the toilet paper <laughs> comes in. <laughs> I, I, you know what happens next? I had it. You know I had to do it to him. Okay, I, I had to. I was tired. Okay, I took like melatonin like 40 minutes before I got on the toilet too. So I, you know, I was drowsy AF. Okay, so. <laughs> Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, really enjoyed making it um, and yeah uh, Make sure to like and subscribe and most importantly turn on notifications if you haven't already because YouTube uh, You know I had to do it to him. You know I had to say it 
but YouTube's retarded. Like, <laughs> like, come on, let's be for real. But anyways, thank you for watching the video, and yeah, I'll see you in another one.